Hi, I'm Ben from Magic Seaweed and I'm going to go through the Billabong SG5 range of suits uh, for winter suits this year. Um, they're a great choice if you're looking for a really warm suit, especially the 765 hooded suit. Probably the warmest suit that we have, um, certainly the thickest and lots of features to keep you nice and warm. I'll go through those in a bit more detail in a moment. 5mm suit, obviously a bit more flexible but still a very very warm suit, perfect for cold water surfing throughout the winter. Um, if you're looking for a bit more flexibility, um, I'd have a look at perhaps the O'Neill 4.5mm 5212 um, or something like a, um, an XL Infinity Comp suit. Um, but really, warmth, uh, this is a great choice. Um, you could go for something like a Power Seam, XL Power Seam suit if you wanted something a bit more of a combination between warmth and flexibility. Um, but we're going to go through the features that make this one really the warmest suit that we do. Um, so that warmer suit is a 765 suit so it's the thickest suit that's listed on the site um, we've also measured these with some sensitive calipers um, and this is definitely overall the thickest suit that we do um, I'm going to go through the common features between the two SG5s that we have and then I'll get into a bit, bit more specifics about each suit so first of all you see it's got the single line panel um, this single line panel, interestingly, on the SG5, they have put on the chest, which is completely normal. A lot of suits do that. Um, and then on the back, you see the top panel here, and then this comes all the way down. It extends down through this panel here, which is designed to cover your kidneys, so an important area to keep your core warm. Um, it's a nice touch that, X that the Billabong have done. Um, I think we might see other suits follow, um, other brands follow suit, but. Um, it's not in an area where it's going to be uh, nicked by your suit or anything like that. The only real disadvantage of this type of neoprene is that it's less durable than standard double line neoprene. Um, so they've obviously thought about this a lot. They've put it in the place where you need the warmth, uh, but you don't need the durability. So that's a nice touch on both these SG5 suits. Um, next big thing I think is the seams. Um, these are glued and blind stitched. So that's stitching that doesn't go all the way through from one side to the other side of the neoprene, it just goes halfway through. Then they glue that together and they seal it on both sides. So this has got this nice rubberized liquid seal on the inside and on the outside. Um, that means a little bit less flexibility, but you do get a fully sealed seam. There's no water coming in. It's uh, less chance of, of getting cold water in, so you're gonna be warmer throughout the, the session. Um, the next thing I'd notice about these suits is the both front zip. Um, Billabong have tucked away the little drawstring on the inside, which is a nice touch, I think. It stops it flapping around. Um, so you can pull that nice and tight and then tuck it away in there. Uh, the key pocket is a little bit different to some of the other suits. It's just like a, a loop of elastic here that just sits in between your two layers of, uh, kind of flap that goes that you climb in, through the, climb in through to get into the suit. So it's nice and secure there. You're not going to lose your keys if you do put them in. Um, the next thing I'd mention is the lining on the inside and this is the same on the 7mm suit and the 5mm suit uh, you can see it here on the inside of the hood on the 7mm that's a built-in hood that you can't take off um, and that's going to keep your head really really warm but if I quickly pull that inside out see that chest panel and those panels I mentioned the single line panels past your kidneys that is really really thick polypro fluffy lining it's going to trap air um, take water away from your body and just keep you warmer, lock the warmth inside the wetsuit. Um, so that's a nice touch, really nice and thick. The rest of the suit feels really nice. Um, you probably, if you've had a suit in the last two or three years, then um, you might notice the difference of this really nice quality neoprene. Um, it just feels nicer against the skin, it just makes it easier to take off and on. Just anything that's going to make you feel a little bit better when you're putting on a, a wetsuit before a nice cold winter session is good. So that's a nice touch. Um, so I think a couple of differences between the suits that I want to go through. First of all, the wrist seals on the 5mm suit, they're this kind of cinched, um, squeezed, uh, kind of clamped off seal that they have on the O'Neill 5212, has a very similar system. Um, and that feels really comfortable again, just feels really nice. It gives you a bit more of a, a seal against gloves and things like that. They've also got this kind of rubberized, uh, silicone-y type stuff on the inside, which a lot of brands do. So that's on the 5mm suit you get that kind of cinched off one. Um, one of the trade-offs with having a really thick suit and a really warm suit is they, they can't do that on that kind of thick neoprene. So you can see that that is a really thick, we'll, we'll go through the, uh, the thicknesses that we measured in a little while, but that's just so thick they can't do that cinched off thing. Um, still got the little grippy 
silicone -y stuff on the inside, so you'll still get a nice seal against gloves and against your wrist. But uh, just something to bear in mind, the difference between the two. Um, obviously the main difference is the hood. It's all fully single lined on the outside. Any water that comes on this is just going to sheet straight off, it's not going to sink in. Um, so that's a big benefit. Um, Billabong actually say it, it's 30% warmer than standard neoprene. I've no idea how they, they're going to calculate that, but um, I can believe it. I think that it's, it makes sense. It's been part of wetsuit technology for years and years, so it's obviously something that works. Um, and on Billabong suits, they line the inside with that extra fluffy lining, like I mentioned. Um, so that's got to be good against, against your head. Keep your head warm. Um, keep your kidneys warm with the extra, extra lining there as well. It's got your standard uh, drawstring on the side, so you can tighten up that. What I've noticed is it doesn't have um, some suits, like here's, here's the XL. has a very, very thin, it must be like one mil um, flap of neoprene here, which kind of comes sits either over your chin or under your chin. Um, I, I wear a suit like this myself, and half the session I've looked back at GoPro footage from the front of the board and half the session it'll be over, half under, I don't even really notice to be honest. So Billabong have, have dispensed with that altogether, it's just, just ends like that so I think that could probably work out being a little bit more comfortable in the long run. Um, might mean it's a little bit easier to pull it down and surf without the hood up. Realistically though in a 7mm suit you're going to want the hood up all the time if, you, if you're going to be in that thickness of suit so um, just a little touch that makes it a little bit different from the other brands. Um, so, the thicknesses of the suits, um, we measured with calipers, very sensitive calipers, they're fractions of a millimetre we can measure there, so um, it's quite interesting actually, I'll, I'll go through the two major measurements I think are the arm and the chest panel. So, um, obviously the chest being the thickest panel on nearly every suit we've measured. Um, the 765 actually came in at 7.5mm on the chest. That's a lot to do with that fluffy lining, I think. Um, but interestingly, the 5mm, which you'd expect obviously to be um, significantly thinner, is 65 So, although it's rated as a as a 5.4, you get an extra 1.5mm on the chest. And that's just this panel here. It doesn't affect flexibility, but it is significantly thicker and even proportionally thicker than it is on the 7mm suit. That's just half a mil thicker than, than it says on the arm. To Taking into consideration the fluffy lining on the inside, that's to be expected, I think. But that's one and a half mil thicker, so you do get panel on this 5'4 suit, which is, which is definitely going to be um, significantly warmer than some of the other 5 and 4mm suits that we've measured. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, the arms, though, are 4.5, so pretty much exactly what we'd expect. That half mil probably coming from this jersey lining. So you still get nice flex in the arms. Um, not as flexible as a suit with, with stitchless construction like power seam or super seam from O'Neill. Um, but it's definitely flexible enough um, if, you, if you're if you willing to go for the extra thickness and, and the extra lining and you want the warmth, then it's not gonna hamper you too much. But, uh, but bear in mind if you need flexibility or performance is the main priority, perhaps consider one of the thinner suits. Uh, the arms on the 765 hooded are 7mm, so they're considerably thicker. Um, obviously just scaled up a little bit more than you'd think on the rest of the suit. Um, it, so they've really concentrated on getting this one as flexible as they can without sacrificing too much warmth. With the 6.5 on that one, 4.5 on the arms. With the 7mm, it's going to be super, super warm anyway. It's going to be the warmest suit we have. 7mm on the arms is... You can paddle it, um, it's not going to be obviously as flexible as any of the other thinner suits, but it is going to be much warmer. So if you're in Norway, if you're in the northeast, if you're surfing in sub 10 degrees temperatures and you want a really warm suit, the 765 is a really good option. Um, if you want to go for something a little bit more flexible which still has the warmth, try the XL Power Seam or perhaps the, the Quicksilver Fuse Flex Hooded. Um, Rip Curl Flash Bomb Plus 6mm is a good option as well. And if you want flexibility, then the O'Neill um, 5212 or the XL Infinity Comp um, or one of the Seaskins Hot Wide Suits is a great option there. Uh, so that's the roundup of the SG5 series from Billabong. Um, they do have some other suits in their range, um, which are a little bit more affordable. Um, but the SG5, really, really good option if you're looking for cold water. 5mm if you're looking for a little bit more flexibility. 7mm if you've got really, really cold water and you want to keep warm. 
Like with any wetsuit, um, especially with a winter wetsuit though, you need to make sure you get the right size. Um, each brand has different sizing. So you might be a medium tall in one brand, you might be a large in another and so on. The best thing to do, uh, if you have a look at the size chart link from the Magic Seaweed site, there's a link below the video. Um, there's also a link on every product page on the Magic Seaweed store. So any wetsuit page, you'll be able to find a link to the wetsuit size guide. Um, what that'll do is give you a size chart for every different brand we do. So we've got Sea Skins, Rip Curl, Billabong, XL, Quicksilver, uh, Roxy. Um, every brand that we do is on there and they're all slightly different. So do check that out. Um, see if you can find a brand which fits your body shape. Um, a lot of them do individual sizes in different suits um, and maybe not in others. So bear that in mind. Um, on any of our wetsuit pages you can filter on the left hand side uh, from the winter wetsuit page for instance you can filter by size you can see exactly what we've got in that particular size so check out the sizing um, try and get one that fits really snugly you need a really nice tight fit um, which you might find one brand gives you that tight fit and another is a little bit looser so less critical in summer suits but very very important in winter suits especially um, check out the size chart, make sure you get the right size and if you can't find one in the brand that you like the look of, have a look at a different brand. Um, more than likely one of them will have a size which is really suitable for you.